Chris, you've had chats with the players today. Where are you at then? Who's who's n not staying then? Yeah, we, we've made decisions. I mean, possibly the most two notable ones. Uh, you know, we've uh, we've decided not to not to offer an, uh, a contract to Paul Coots and, and Martin Crane. Um, you know, we've we've given Paul the opportunity of going and and. Uh, and seeking a new club, um, I think that's the, the right thing to do. Paul is desperate to, to play first team football and gain a regular uh, place. It's it's really unfortunate his story, really how you know how, how well he was doing, um, and uh, he needs now to go and, and and play some some regular football. I can't guarantee in that area. He understands that, you know, we will be bringing players in and around that position, and it's it's key. Um, so. You know, uh, a difficult one, possibly the most difficult one I've had to do in, in, in my career uh, as, as a manager. Uh, but Paul understands that, and you know, we're 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 in agreement as well. I think you know he he, he wants the opportunity to go and play 30, 40 games a season, and, and unfortunately I can't do that. And uh, and Martin Crane, he's been he's been a fabulous member of the of, of the group on and off the pitch as well. You know, really important contributions. Um, when when needed, I've always said it was about the about the squad, about everybody playing the part, not just the lads that play forty six games. It's the it's the players that play your your three, four, five, ten games that keep it ticking over, that gain you the points when you've got problems, when you've got injuries, when you've got suspensions, which happens to everybody. And I suppose they're the, they're the big two out out of the group that uh, not being offered contracts. Are any of the existing players under contract who maybe haven't played a great deal? Are they because this has always happened at this time of year been made available for sale? Yeah, it's Jake Wright uh, and uh, out the group, um, out, the, out, out the group that's not played any football and he's, he's in the same scenario. You know, uh, older older player uh, needs to go and play football. Um, the boys out out on loan as well. Um, they're they're obviously on the transfer list as well. The likes of Ched, uh, Ricky Holmes, Sammy Carruthers, Ben Ennigan, Nathan Thomas. You know, it's just it's been unfortunate for them that the rise of the football club has been phenomenal, and it's just overtaken them at the time, and they haven't had an opportunity mm. of, of staking a regular cl claim in the uh, staking a regular place in the team because of of the performances of of, of the likes of John Egan and. You know, for Jake Wright, Jack O'Connor, for Paul Coots and Ollie Norwood, you know, and, and, and players right right the way through. Uh, you know, Ched, Billy's form has been uh, unbelievable. Leon was at a Ched and, um, and and obviously David McGold is coming in and done, done a fabulous job. And Leon as well, um, you know, he's, um, he, he's been made available. Leon's the same, he wants to go at his age and play regular football. And uh, I should imagine a lot of these players, there'll, there'll be a lot of... Uh, a lot of attraction and a lot of attention in, in to require to acquire their services. So uh, you know, um, I'm sure that uh, there'll be a lot of phone calls going on in in, in the next couple of weeks, months.